very much. Uh, the Republican Council Party has just uh, concluded uh, to passing that particular uh, consent that actually they have uh, dissolved to join the Jubilee Party. And now we're joined by Tourism Cabinet Secretary, who is also the founder of that particular party, uh, to just tell us more. Welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, today I've been invited as a founder of this party uh, in my pre previous life uh, to come and uh, listen to their resolutions. And uh, I want to agree with their resolutions because we are now moving from a smaller party to a bigger party. And the most objective of any politician and any political system is how do we go into government. And this is the clear way of going into government through joining the Jubilee government. What difference uh, does it bring to the party? Well, uh, first it gives us strength, yes, and then give us competition among ourselves. So the best, the best, uh, the best candidate wins, and and this is going to be very healthy. Uh, the beauty about joining the big giant party is to form the principles of ideology, to be the thing that rallies the country together. Rather of us as a small party, we used to be just a coastal party probably or we do not have the resources to mobilize nationally we were just fighting for the for, for, for the needs of the people of one region rather of the national region so this gives us a lot of strength and, and, and the vision of President Uhuru Kenyatta is not going to be easy because the reality on the ground people are still tribalists people are still regionalists but the foundation of building a new party based on the future how do we unite as one Kenya? How do we unite on principle of ideology? How do we uh, judge a party because of development progress rather of bickering? These are the principles that, that President Uhuru Kenyatta's vision is all about. Uh, have you uh, gotten a formula where you, you uh, will you be, will uh, the former Republican Council be enjoined in uh, official nominations, uh, the 77 official nominations that will be conducted? Well, uh, first of all, there's a big structure of 77 uh, members, uh, national officials. Definitely all the 14 parties will have a small share here and there. I think the principle of saying if you are going for an elective position, can you allow that position to be filled with somebody who is not elected so that we can be able having an inclusive party and that's the principle we are going to work on so so that everybody is involved in the political process not only the elected people but also the non-elected people so that there's space for everybody and that is the respect i think president Uhuru kinata wants to say that let everybody be included rather of being secluded how do you envision the party primaries well, uh, it's not going to be easy. Uh, the competition is going to be higher because we have 14 new parties coming in into one. Uh, competition is going to be high uh, and the seats are limited. So we need to have trust in our election process, uh, the nomination process, and have trust in the institution called the IBC. So the moment we have trust so that if you are unfairly being removed because you could not garner the votes, then you should be satisfied rather of jumping to another because then the party is going to be big and the government is big so that it can have a chance to participate in the government and the national development programs. A lot of quotas have, uh, have uh, uh, lashed out at the margins saying that it is a threat to democracy. What is your stance? Well, uh, first of all, uh, even the big senior uh, or advanced countries, uh, Germany, uh, the UK, uh, the, United, uh, the United States, all of them have giant parties and then they have small parties yeah so there's still no ban on smaller parties you can form a party today it's not a problem fulfill the requirements and then you're going to form so the openness of having that freedom to form a party is there as part of our democracy but to have giant parties to base ideologies and manifestos to develop the country is what is fundamental in the political game so it is not a threat to, to democracy? I don't think at all. And everybody who is using this to be a threat, a fearing of the irrelevance, comes the existence of the big giant parties. Well, thank you very much. That is uh, Najib Balala, the Tourism Cabinet Secretary and also the founder of the Republican Council uh, Party that has just uh, uh, concluded its dissolution to join the Jubilee Alliance Party.